Well, today I redid these steps. I don't know if you want to call them stone steps because they're man-made, but there was no footer under them. They filled them with modified. They all fell apart after a few years, so I used a couple tricks that I know to kind of hold this work together. Well, today we're just doing a patch job, and some of these are loose, some are not. These aren't loose. These all sank. Uh, you can see them how they sank in there. The plaster, I gotta patch the plaster up and go over here to these steps and do the same thing. They're loose. Maybe I'll start there. So I'm gonna show you what I did and I got a plaster over here. Well, we could see by the level, everything's going into the porch. So if these come off, which they might, yep. So we're gonna do is take them off. Look what's under here, which is usually, I'm not a fan of this kind of construction at all. This, this is, uh, look at, I got gravel down in here. So what we're gonna do is put these up in here the way they actually go. And then, you won't lose this little pattern here. Like that. Basically, I'm cleaning these all up and they got glue on them. Glue's okay, I've used it before. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do a little different. I got these all cleaned up. So this is, it's solid, but the truth is, see everything's moved. Because everything's moved and moving because it's not, it's not, it's new school, it's not old school. The first thing I'm going to do is get this stuff. Spread this all in to fill up all those nooks and crannies. Just like that. Can't go wrong with, uh, with pea gravel. See, it's just pea gravel. Fix all those nooks and crannies. That's it. Got all these holes filled in, just like that. Some wire mesh. See this? This is stucco wire mesh. And I'm gonna cut this right around and cement it to the wire mesh. And that is gonna hold this all together, just like that. it. This is going to sit on this wire mesh just like that. I'm going to put this all back dry. Just like that. See where these all go. Adjust them right, maybe. Then these go back in here like this. Gotta make sure we're right. Once we get these in here, we're gonna get a good idea where they really go. You see what I mean? This tightens up over here. So this got to go a little tighter, a little tighter. So that's about it. Make a little. That'll go there. that. 
adjust them. They don't have to be that sharp. So now we know where to go. Let's see how far off we are. Not too bad. Now we're going to cement them. Now here's our mix for today. We are using one full bucket of masonry sand. And we're going to use a half a bucket, which I put in here, of Portland. So we're going to put it in the wheelbarrow and mix it up. And then you mix it up dry. Go back and forth a couple times so it's all together. A little more. And then you start mixing. All right, that's about that consistency. That's what we want. Now this is the high stone, or whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna put that one in first. I'm gonna just not put too much into it. Lay it right on top of the thing like that. Then, good. Okay, get another carpet. So we're going to put this one here. Like this. This got to go up higher. And this whole thing could go over a hair. that that's pretty good so that's what we're going to go with then we're going to take this one see the wire mesh that's going to hold it all together see that perfect just like that and do this a little bit Put it in, push it down, perfect, let's see, and this one, same thing, put it in, do a little bit here to make it bind a little better. Push it in. Good. Now the next one. Over here. Put this one in. Okay, now those stones are pretty good. Now we're gonna fill the back in here because we know how this goes. gonna go there this one goes here that one goes there this one goes here and we want to have a pitch so that the water runs off that's a pretty big pitch so that could go down a little bit down a little bit, down a little bit. I'll lift these up, like this. Same thing. Get them up. like 
that. This goes like that. This goes like that. Get this out of here. goes like that. Now this one's got a little let's see where we're at with the level. Move them around a little bit until you get the desired effect. It's a little low. You get this one up a little bit. Down it goes. Down it goes. All right, we're all in. I'm gonna put the level on it. The water's gonna go off pretty damn good. We're as low as we can go over here. Let's look at this stone. This don't look right. No, nope, that's okay. Got a little pitch to it. We're done. Now I'm just gonna fill in the centers like this. No big deal. That's gonna bind that up pretty good. I'm using a drier cement because these are all out of sync, I guess you could say. I'm going to tell you from my experience, though, that that's going to hold that together good. Just filling it in. So, we got it all in. Just going over it. Kind of flatten it out a bit. Just gonna brush it off here. Like that. Get all the big stuff off. We got that part done, so now we gotta get the sponge. Clean it off. Make it look good. This is the part that you gotta be you wanna be as careful as you can because you don't want to leave a film. And there is a way to do that, you just gotta Watch yourself. It's clean water. Now this is going to leave a little film. So make sure you go over all the stones so that the film is on them also. So pretty much we got it. Now no one's going to be tripping over it. Doing the same thing here. Loosen these all up. Sometimes I don't like loosening these things because they uh, you don't know if they're going to break or not because they're not built to last. stucco wire. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Don't last forever. It'll hold these all together. Because all these are loose. And if you notice, they're falling apart already. Uh, I was never a fan of this kind of masonry. And we're going to start cementing these stones back in place using that screen first one like that. Let me put 
the second one in. Once you get them all in, sometimes you got to go around adjusting. That's too thick, I think. I don't like that. Knock that out. A little more up in front. Put it in. That's a lot better. So we did the best we could with what we had. Now we're going to fill the back in. This is almost what they call a dry pack. It's wet, but it's still a little dry. They don't want to dirty the stones up too much. See? I want to pack it in there. Just like that. I don't want the water running down, and then hitting here, and going behind there. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. this off, right, and cement is like, like a pack cement, now we're just going to make sure we sponge everything off, we get in here like this, with our finger, we don't want the water going down, I'm with my nephew today, uh, Uncle Michael, Yeah. I think I know what I want to be in life, oh I know what you want to be, a go-getter, right? Go-getter. That yeah. sounds good. She wants to be a go-getter. Take the woman to work and go get her when she's done. Right? <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> and it's at the end and I'm just plastering the sides up. So it's not a bad looking job. That's it. So we're going to talk about this wire mesh. Uh, it's 8 feet by 22 inches or something. You can pick it up stucco wire mesh usually at any box store but one time I was doing a stone sidewalk and everything was mismatched and foundations was in the way it's called stone sidewalk installation part two where I actually laid this down on top of gravel and then I put my flagstone on top of it to make a stone sidewalk it's a way to get around things when you get in situations like this where there's really no footer so it's something to hold everything together and I always tell somebody when I'm putting steps in, make sure you have a railing. <laughs> 